everyone, I'm Charlene from Suso Dressmaking and welcome to my latest fabric haul. So I, today I have lots and lots of lovely fabrics from Lamazi Fabrics and from Minerva. So these fabrics I have, they're really the start of me picking out what I need for my spring summer collections apart from what I already have. So I'm really, really excited to get these and I can start to see my plans all really, really coming together. If you haven't watched my spring summer sewing plans, I will link the vlog and the two blogs down below if you want to check them out. So we'll start off with Lamazi Fabrics. Two of these are going to be for, uh, I'm part of their blogger team, so two of them are going to be for blog make, so they were gifted. So this is the first one I want to show you. So this is, so it's already cut out. It's their new range of swimwear fabrics. So I haven't made a swimsuit before, so I'm, me and Marie from Marie Stitched Up are going to be doing a, like beginner's blog post. So just talking through all the sort of tips and tricks and just really helping out anyone else who is also thinking of making swimwear for the first time. So I picked this really cute umbrella print on a blue background. The colours in it are so lovely. I think this would be really nice if you had like a contrast. So picked out one of these colours like the pinks or the mint or something to contrast with it. I think it would be really lovely together. So then the main fabric was gifted and then I got the rest of the bits and pieces. So they have everything. They have the power mesh which you can use for your lining and these can also all be used for sportswear and activewear as well which I think is brilliant. I would actually really like to try out some of the other prints and maybe make myself a few pairs of like um, Helen's Closet Avery leggings maybe um, just because I maybe would give me a wee bit more motivation to do some exercise but we'll see. So then the other bits I got from them, the clear elastic and they have the cups as well which I definitely need after two babies. Um, so yeah I'm really really excited to start making this. I want to get a few other things just tidied up first and cleared out of the way before I really focus on all these spring summer sewing plans. And this actually does tie in with a lot of my colours that I'm picking as well for this season. So it all has worked out really nicely. So then the next fabric I have from Lamazi, again, this is cut out already. Uh, let's see. So this was a remnant of Mind the Maker Viscose. It's the stocks print, I think it's called. So there was, I think it was like 55 centimetres or something like that which I now know is enough to make a Friday Pattern Company square neck top, which is what I'm wearing today in Jersey. So I wanted to give it a go in a woven fabric as well. I know it can be done. So I got this, I just squeezed it in. I've had to shorten it a wee bit, but I know that it will still be long enough for me to tuck into like my high-waisted trousers and things. So I'm okay with that. So we'll see how this goes. It might end up being too short, but at least I've tried it. Usually I would never buy remnants that small because like, I'm not really like an Ogden Cami kind of person and um, that style. I just don't really like it. I don't like too much of the top of my arms on show and it's just not really my style really. So yeah, I would never really buy remnants that small if anything, but I thought I'll give it a go this time and see if I can squeeze one of these tops in from out of it. So I'm excited to see what will happen. So then in my last sewing vlog or in my last fabric haul I had shared this Mind the Maker um, pink mini Leo the it's viscose again I had got this for Emily and then seen it and really really loved it so I now have two meters of it which I'm really excited about so I am going to do still do a dress or top for Emily and I'm going to do a top or dress for me as well so Probably, I might do another one of the new Coco Wabba pattern that's going to be coming out soon. Because um, then I have a similar pattern for Emily, so we could really be like twin in it. So yeah, really, really excited about that. I don't have a lot of pink in my wardrobe, so I kind of want to try and introduce a wee bit more of it at the minute. And I think this sort of more like an earthy tone, so it has like those warmer sort of brown tones in it, I think that suits me more than the real baby sort of icy pastel candy colored pinks. So really, really excited about that. And then the next one, so this is the fabric for my next blog post. 
This is their old rose um, stretch linen viscose and it is stunning. Now I know they have nearly sold out of it at the minute but they will probably be getting more back in soon hopefully. Um, and yeah I just absolutely love this colour. It fits in perfectly with my spring summer colour palette. So I obviously I've made the Cali shirt in this linen and this is just going to be perfect match. So I am making a summer suit. I'm not going to share too many more details with you so I want it all to be a big surprise. Um, but yeah and I'll probably I'll share wee bits over on Instagram if you just want to follow along with it. But yeah really really excited about how this one is going to go. I think it's just yeah absolutely love these colours. So so happy with them. And then it also matches quite well with this. What are you doing? <laughs> Silly me. Silly you, yes. So it also matches really well with this wee remnant here. And if I wanted to go for like the whole monotone look and um, all in one colour, it actually ties in quite well with this one too. So it's all those same like earthy pinks, like muted pinks and brown sort of tones in them. So yeah, really excited about that. Obviously it'll go really well with all my blacks and whites too that I'm planning. So perfect. So then the next one I have, I only got this last night. This is actually, this was a birthday present, early birthday present for my sister. I, I knew this was gonna probably sell pretty quickly, although a lot of people do have it now, so. But anyway, um, this is the new Atelier Burnett collection. The, can't remember the name of the print, I'll pop it up above here. But again, these colors are just perfect for my spring summer collection I did think so it's got this like sort of a beige color here and then this warmer sort of a beige thought this was going to be more of a pinky tone but I don't mind and then this lovely green as well so again I do think I'm hoping to make um not sure yet actually <laughs> um I do want to try and get after three meters of this so I want to try and get two items from it if I can. I'm thinking a dress and hopefully then a top. And then the top I hope will go nice with this wee outfit too. Um, I'm not sure how these colours will mix, we'll see. But I am, um, yeah, I thought whenever this was gonna be more of a pinky tone, this would tie in a bit better, but it's got that more of like a sort of warm sandy colour, which I'm okay with, I don't really mind. Um, I think the green, the other print that they have in, I'll pop a picture up of them, I cannot remember the names, but it's more of like a, they've described it as like leaves sort of overlapping and it's got that kind of like geometric kind of feel to it. And the green, I might maybe get it too, maybe like a wee meter and do a top to match this because I do really love greens with this pink. But yes, so I am hoping to do a top and a dress. I am thinking of v-neck and maybe a wee bit sort of like above the knee, like shorter, not midi length. But aside from that, I'm not sure. So if you can think of any patterns, like any sort of v-neck dress, quite summery. Obviously I don't mind hacking patterns a wee bit, but um, maybe a wrap dress, I'm not sure. So yeah, if you have any pattern suggestions for this or what would you make with this fabric, let me know. It is absolutely good. So this is the first time I've actually got any Atelier Burnett fabric. The they are beautiful prints but I'm I've never I like them but there's always prints that I like more I think I prefer like a bolder print or like a ditzy print and um, so yeah this is the first one that I have really thought yeah I have to get that I think the bigger scale like leaf prints and sort of splodges in the background is far more me so yeah really really excited about this don't know what I'm going to make with it yet, but I need to decide soon. So if you have any pattern suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. So that is all the Lamazi fabrics that I've got. And um, next up is from Minerva Crafts. So I had um, one of the fabrics that was really appealing to me whenever I was doing my spring summer planning was gingham and large scale ginghams and then whenever we did the hint of print challenge there was loads of people sharing really big scale ginghams and yeah 
I just had to have some and I had seen a green linen that Lamazi has in stock it is now sold out but hopefully they will get that back in again and it's put me in the mood for bright emerald green so I got this I love it so it's just your basic cotton gingham poly cotton gingham um, it's like four pound meter so it's not overly expensive but and you can get it in so many different places and yeah I absolutely love this color so with this I'm hoping to do maybe a top and trousers now it is a narrower width so I'll need to play about and see what I can get from it there is a shirt that I have pinned on my Pinterest for my spring summer plans and it's like a there's a front and back yoke on it but the yoke is cut on the great on the bias so that the da the squares are going like diagonally and then straight for the rest of the body and I wouldn't mind trying that I maybe need to get my Cali shirt out and lay the pattern pieces on this to see if it'll work but yeah I'm thinking maybe a by hand London flora dress hacked into a top and then a pair of trousers I'm not sure what trousers yet either um, it's light enough so the tilly on the buttons fear trousers could be an option it's quite light or see through as well but I might be able to get away with it for trousers if they're loose enough obviously I'm not going to go too tight with this fabric but yeah so either shirt and the flora hacked into a top and then part trousers if I did the flora I would add like a wee peplum sort of ruffle on it and then yeah, I'm not sure. We'll see, see how I get on. But then last night when these fabrics were sitting together, I actually really love the greens against this pink. I'm, yeah, I absolutely love it. I definitely want to try some khakis with this pink as well and some softer greens, like those sort of minty greens too. I think they're all going to go lovely with this colour. So yeah, I'm really, really excited to see how these are all going to sort of tie in together. The big thing I'm noticing now that I am working on like a summer collection as opposed to just buying whatever I fancy. Whenever I'm looking at fabrics, I am thinking, but will this work with what I'm making already? And I think that the fabrics that I am buying seem to all be working together, which is really, really nice. Hopefully it means that I'm gonna have a more cohesive summer wardrobe by the end of this summer. Just need to get cracking with it and actually make sure it's sewn before the summer and hope that the summer will come back so i am i'm really conscious now as well that i don't want to make too many like shorts or things that aren't going to really be appropriate for here for the summer because yeah our weather is a bit hit and miss but yeah so i'm really really happy with this gingham i absolutely love it can't wait to get started on that and then next is this little print i think this must have been sent out in one of their newsletters i'm not too sure how i came across this but you no know, i had been looking for crap fabric and seen this and i really really liked it it's kind of similar to the ruska hack that i made for my first minerva blog i'll post a wee picture up of it and um, but it was a stretch fabric so i thought this was going to be a crap and it's not it's a satin which is a little bit disappointing. I have planned to make the another bias t-shirt dress by Trend Patterns with it. I'm not sure now what I want to do with it. I might still go ahead with those plans. Um, I don't know. I, I, I know this is going to be the kind of fabric that will be quite static, I think. But it is still a really nice print. And I think it's the kind of print that I will wear like all year round. I'm not going to get fed up with it like next year or anything. Again, it ties in with all my colour palettes. It'll go with this and it'll go with the greens and the blues and the lilacs and all. So, yeah, I'm, I'm okay with it. I would have preferred if it was a crap, but it's a satin. It's fine. I'll, I will make use of it still. I have three metres of this as well. So I do have loads of options. I can really play about with it. I would say I'm more than likely going to end up making the bias t-shirt dress again. Um, but we'll see. I'll have a wee think about that one, I'd say. And then the last fabric, so if you follow me over on Instagram, you'll know that, or if you follow along with my stories, I, last summer I made the Closet Case Petra Pants in a linen look 
viscose from Fabric Godmother. So I didn't have any in this year, but I had a wee search around and found it on Minerva. So it is, I'm pretty sure it is the exact same fabric. The, the colours from what I remember were the same. So I have got it in black. Again, I have three metres. So just, I'm hoping to get two pairs of trousers from this. I might try a different style to the slim leg petras. I'm not sure, or I might just make them again and maybe try a different short, but I'm hoping for like a longer short and then that slimmer sort of tailored look as well. Or I would really like to try the Paper Theory Miller trousers. That's another one that's been on my list. They look like one of those patterns that again would, the rise and everything would fit me straight away. I wouldn't have to do too many adjustments. So I do want to try them out. But yeah, this is going to be two pairs of trousers, black trousers, because I, I do need them in my wardrobe so badly. Things that aren't jeans really for summer months, but are close enough to black jeans that, yeah, they'll get plenty of wear. So yeah, I am looking forward to getting started with these. I will probably, start with the longer shorts because I want to play about with it see what different styles suit Emily so yeah I want to play about with um the sort of longer short idea see what styles suit me I had thought about doing the Hel Helen's Closet Winslow cloths but I'm not sure I think there's maybe too much volume but then I think in this fabric it'd be completely different so yeah I'm going to use this to sort of experiment a wee bit before because part of my summer set is going to be shorts. <laughs> Might as well say that. So yeah, I want to try a style out in these first to see what I think. I have a good idea of what pattern I'm going to use for the pink linen viscose. Um, but I want to try out the looser fit first and see, just have a wee look and see which I actually prefer, which is going to go with more. So yeah, that is my latest fabric haul. Obviously I haven't been buying as much fabric now these last sort of, what, two months nearly? Well, since March, so maybe nearly three months, I am working my way through my stash though and it feels so good to see it finally going down. So these fabrics here are all sort of a wee bit of a treat really. And, I think not buying fabrics for so long has really helped me, or not having any new fabrics for so long, has really helped me like see what it is in my stash that I'm gonna use and really think about what my plans will be for it. So yeah, it has all worked out pretty well. And there's fabrics in there that I probably wouldn't have got around to using ever and they would have just kept sitting there. So I'm happy that I've had that wee break from new fabric, but now that I have my spring summer collections planned, I'm really, really excited to get started on them. So I have a few more bits to tidy up this week, get things finished off, and then yeah, we will be fully in the spring summer collection sewing. So thank you very much for watching and hope you've enjoyed this. And I wanna say a big hello to all my new subscribers at the minute too on YouTube. And a big, big thank you to Liz, the baker that sews, for the shout out in her last vlog. I know a lot of you have been following me from that. So welcome to my channel and I hope you really enjoy it. And I will chat to you all soon. Bye. Another biscuit now.